In this video, I will describe people and events from the 13th century, 1201 to 1300. For each quarter century, I will note famous births and deaths, and significant events in politics, religion, and culture. Here we go. In the first quarter of the 13th century, 1201 to 1225, St. Thomas Aquinas was born, and the English philosopher-scientist Roger Bacon. The Jewish philosopher Moses Maimonides died, as did St. Dominic, founder of the Dominican Order. The Magna Carta was issued in its definitive form, and Genghis Khan became the chief prince of the Mongols. These decades saw the first appearance of jesters in European courts, and the first European use of Arabic numerals in a book by Leonardo Fibonacci. The city of Amsterdam was founded, and in London, tiled roofs began to replace wooden and thatched roofs. In the second quarter of the 13th century, 1226 to 1250, the Florentine painter Cimabue, teacher of Giotto, was born. St. Francis of Assisi died and was canonized two years later. Genghis Khan died, and his empire was divided among his three sons. Fifteen years later, his grandson Batu founded the Central Asian Empire of the Golden Horde. Louis IX, St. Louis, began his 44-year rule as King of France, and in Iberia, the Arabs lost Cordoba to Castile. In religion, the Sixth and Seventh Crusades were fought. Pope Gregory IX reigned for 14 years, followed by the 17-day papacy of Celestine IV, and, a year and a half later, the election of Innocent IV. During this time, Roger Bacon recorded the existence of explosives. Quite a few famous people were born in the third quarter of the 13th century, 1251 to 1275. Meister Eckert, Marco Polo, Dante, and the painter Giotto. King Louis and St. Thomas Aquinas died. Kubla Khan founded the Yuan dynasty in China, which would last for close to a century. Under his brother Hulagu Khan, the Mongols sacked Baghdad in 1258, ending the Abbasid Caliphate. Around this time, the Aztecs first arrived in the Valley of Mexico. Popes of this period were Alexander IV, Urban IV, and, after a three-year vacancy, Gregory X. The first flagellant movements were seen in northern Italy and southern Germany. Hats came into fashion in Europe, and the university that would become the Sorbonne was founded, and the musical form of motet was created. Marco Polo began his 25 years of journeying through China. In the final quarter of the 13th century, 1276 to 1300, the philosopher John Buridan was born, and Albertus Magnus, Roger Bacon, and Kublai Khan died. There was a rapid succession of popes, four in 1276 alone. None of these succeeding papacies would last longer than five years. One of these was the hermit pope Celestine V, who, after five months on the throne, issued a decree that the pope had the right to resign, and then resigned. He was later canonized. New inventions of this time period included spectacles and the glass mirror. Marco Polo returned from China and began dictating his memoirs from a Genoese jail. Human settlers arrived in New Zealand, beginning the rapid decline and extinction of moas and other local species. That's my summary of people and events in the 13th century. Thanks for watching today. Goodbye.